So today we're talking about the Delaware Charity Challenge, which since 2015 has raised more than $165,000. Is that right? $165,000 for area nonprofits. That seems like a lot. And today we're very happy to have with us on the Wilmington Show, Sarah Grace Fulton from Spur Impact. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I'm really glad to be here. Um, so I just started working with Spur Impact about a month ago. Um, You're and brand new. Uh, yes. And they threw you right out onto the, onto to the, the wall. They yeah. did, so please be nice. Um, <laughs> so Spur Impact is a relatively new organization in Wilmington. Um, we are the parent organization for a number of different initiatives, some of which you've probably heard of. So the Millennial Summit is one. Um, the Charity Challenge is another. And so that's what I'd like to talk about today. Um, the Charity Challenge is an annual, um, it's an ongoing event that happens throughout the year. We have four main um, athletic competitions that are coupled with a fundraising initiative. So upcoming, we have the spring event. It's a spring 5K and Adventure Challenge Relay. Mm -hmm. So that's on Saturday, May 4th. Um, it's at Lums Pond in Bear. Um, and this is, I think, probably one of the most fun and family friendly of the Delaware Charity Challenge events. So uh, we are currently taking teams um, to sign up. And there are, two, there are two competitions here. One is the fundraising. So you can, if you are a nonprofit organization, or if you are a corporate, um, an office, you know, a, an office team, or just mm -hmm. a family or group of friends who likes to participate in um, athletic events or uh, raising funds for uh, an organization that you care about, you can set up a team and online CrowdRise page to fundraise for a cause, a 501c3 of your choice. Okay. Um, so we have a lot of nonprofit partners who this is their primary way of fundraising for their organization. Mm -hmm. But we also have groups, um, banks, and you know, just, just family and friends who want to fundraise and they designate, you know, we have um, one of our top raising teams from Veritex. Uh, they uh, raise for the Ministry of Caring. So that is their nonprofit of choice. Um, so we obviously, there's a race to raise funds. Mm -hmm. And then race day um, in and of itself is a fun way to, um, you know, participate with a little bit of friendly competition with some of these other teams. That's my, my that was my question. Yeah. How competitive does it get? Okay, so <laughs> I've, I'll be honest, I've not been there the day of, but I've seen a ton of videos. Um, the 5K, people who do 5Ks, they're yeah. in it to win it. Right. So right. we've got a pretty, you know, there's, there's um, the the scoring is as if you do five k's like right. regularly, um, but then there's also the fun walk run. So mm -hmm. you know, with your kids or if you're like me and I'm just there to support and kind of do my light jogging, but like mostly walking with pals. That's how I like to do a five k. Um, so we can do the professional scoring or just the the laid back fun walk run. But then there's the adventure challenge, and this is what we're really trying to build up this year. So you can get together with a team of five to eight of your friends, mm -hmm. colleagues, whomever, um, and this is everything from canoeing, mountain biking, um, tic-tac-toe, like relay races with hula in. hoops. Did she say canoeing? You don't like, oh. I see. I, I, Did I, you have I, a bad time canoeing I, once? I haven't seen too many brothers canoeing. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead, go ahead, canoeing. <laughs> so, well, and so that's the thing about having a that team. I seen <laughs> right, right, right. right. <laughs> Well, so, so I mean, there's everything from, from relay races. There's um, hula hoops are a big part of the Adventure Challenge, but not just your standard kind of hula hooping. But, okay. you know, laid on the ground, you have to, like, hop through them sometimes. Or sometimes it's a tic-tac-toe board. Or sometimes okay. it's, like, a rock, paper, scissors mm -hmm. challenge. It's one of the things that we're going to do this year. So it's just a fun way to spend the day with mm -hmm. your colleagues, with other supporters of your nonprofit. Um, it's usually, like, early May, I think, is a really great time it's finally warm and it's not getting cold and I yeah. think it's a good first weekend. Um, the Blue Rocks, the Wilmington Blue Rocks are a partner in this event and that night there's a game and if you have participated in the charity challenge that morning then you can go to the Blue Rocks that night for a discounted ticket price um, and that tends to be the opening week for Grain H2O in the area mm -hmm. so a lot of teams will go there after the event and it's just like a fun way. You can really make a whole day out of it. Um, so we are taking signups right now. We don't actually have any cutoff um, and we would like to see as many teams participate as possible. Um, one of the benefits of doing this, there are so many nonprofits who their way to fundraise is a 5k. Right. But it, there are startup costs, there are only so many Saturday and Sunday mornings to schedule 5Ks, mm -hmm. and for the runners who want to participate, it's hard to pick and choose. You can't be in two right. places at once. So you're saying this is like a 5K 
to, you can do one 5K for many things. So many people can join in that one 5K. So all these nonprofit organizations who have their successful events, that's really great. But there are some nonprofits who are struggling to keep their people coming back year after year just because, you know, as more nonprofits and more organizations set up events, mm -hmm. it's getting tough. So if we said, well, why don't we take these, you know, 10 to 20 different groups who are all fundraising, let's just have one race. Right. We'll take care of the, the hassle of facilitating the race. That's, you know, spur impact. That's, you know, we'll, we'll handle all of the nightmare of setting up the logistics yeah. for it. You guys participate, you raise, and nonprofits raise more money because you're saving on overhead. And there's, like I say, that element of friendly competition. Um, and so we're finding that that's something that nonprofits are really eager to do. Well, for somebody who's been at Spur Impact for one month, you you really have it down. <laughs> also, I have to say, Spur Impact, they just keep winning. Um, you know, yeah. you know, and I'm when we're rooting for them. But yeah. man, Spur Impact is like just sort of just like every time they do something, it seems like it goes really well. So, um, welcome to the Spur Impact team. Thank you. And thank you for coming on the Wilmington show. Thank you. So Appreciate the uh, the event itself, one more time, is what day? So the upcoming, the, the first spring event is Saturday, May 4th okay. at Lums Pond in the morning. Saturday, May 4th, Lums Pond in the morning. We also have events throughout the summer. There is a downstate race in June and a duathlon later in the summer. And I can share information and with that for you guys. And it's spurimpact.org? So spurimpact.org, you can learn about that. There's also just Delaware Charity Challenge. Com .org. Delaware Charity Challenge. Check the dot com and the dot org. Bam! There you go. No, we'll have a lower third here. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any positive stories that Zach and myself need to talk about, be sure to submit it at stories.wilmington.love.